morning YouTube this is come and take it today I'm going to show you how to prepare sticky rice first you need sweet rice also known as glutinous rice it's a different kind of rice as you can see it's made in Thailand as compared to jasmine rice which is a long grain rice jasmine rice is what you'd put with vegetables and meat and fish Sticky rice is what you put with, you either eat it by itself and it sticks together in little balls and you eat it, or you could put coconut on it, or you could put um, various dipping sauces, Thai dipping sauces. This is just one brand of sweet rice. Now, what I've done is I have already added some water to it to soak it. Then what I'm going to do is just... I'm going to try to do this with one hand while I have the phone. Look, there's the rice inside the water, okay? You shush it around like this, and you can see that the water turns a gray color, all right? Then what you do is you pour it out, the water, the gray water, and what's left is mostly clean, I'm going to do something here that I have to get you to hold on a second here. I'm going to put a, another pot down so I can pour. This is difficult to do with one hand. Okay. And I'm going to put a strainer in there. Okay, now I'm going to pour this rice into the strainer. Look what I'm doing, you see? I'm pouring the rice into the strainer. Okay, so it's a little difficult to do with one hand, but it'll work. Why am I, why is come and take it pouring the rice into the strainer? Well, the reason I'm pouring the rice into the strainer is so I can wash the rice again. See, so it takes two or three rounds of rice washing before it's clean. Now I'm going to take this dry rice now, pour it right back in the bowl, which in this case is a, another pot. Okay. I'm going to refill it with, this is just tap water, because you're not going to eat this, you're just, drink, you're not, you're just rinsing it. I'm refilling the rice container with tap water. And it's generally warm water. I imagine you could use cold if you wanted to. Now, I'm going to take the rice again. Watch what I do. See, I'm shushing it around. All I'm doing is shushing it. The water is going to turn gray. Shushing the rice. This is how to make sticky rice now. Now, sticky rice when you when you when it's dry, in this case I have a cup and a half in there, okay? Uh, sticky rice doesn't really f uh, puff up as much as regular rice. Regular rice gets filled with water. This just gets steamed. Sticky rice gets steamed. Okay, now, now I'm going to take, you see how gray that water is? I'm going to take the majority of the water, dump it off. See, dumping the water off. Now, before I spill this rice down the drain by accident, I'm going to come over here to my little drainer pot, pour as much of the rice off as I can without spilling it. Okay, now, now I'm going to take this rice that's dried, mostly dried, 
now. Let's call it 99% dried. Then I'm going to pour back in the first pot. I'm going to fill it up again with water. Now I'm going to shush it around. Why am I shushing it around? Well, as I learned when I was in Thailand, uh, you shush it around and it gets the, any junk that's on the rice. It could be dirt, it could be dust, and it could be starch. Uh, well, anything, you know. Could be, you know, dead bugs or whatever. You just want to get it off. You want to clean off the rice. Now, uh, I'm sure you could do this other ways. This is not the only way to do it. However, this is the way I learned from when I was in Thailand. And uh, I have spent time perfecting my Thai rice cooking skills. So this is the third time, I believe, that I've shushed the rice around. Shushing, that's not a real word in case any of you are uh, looking for a dictionary to find out what shushing means. This is the shushing motion. <laughs> shushing. <laughs> That's a word I made up. But you're welcome to use it if you'd like. And you're welcome to add it to the dictionary if you have that kind of authority. And as you can see, when I do this, each time I do it, it gets less and less gray water. Okay. Now I'm going to pour... Again, I'm going to pour as much water out as possible. Without spilling the rice down the drain. And then I'm going to come over here to this part of the sink. And pour the rest of it into the strainer. I think I'm going to shush it one more time. Let me know in the comments if you feel like you have a better word than shushing. Okay? Shushing. <laughs> I'm shushing. Now watch what I do. I try to drain as much of the dirty water off of the, off of the rice as possible. I figured this out. If you like this, the water drains out. Hear it? Whereas if you just sit the if you just sit it like this, it doesn't drain out. If you if you pop it up and down, or turn it sideways, you see water comes out. But if you just let it sit like this, water doesn't come out. So it has to be. This, this downward pressure forces the water to come out somehow. See it? Which I think is pretty cool. Now I'm pouring the rice back into the strainer. I mean into the pot. Put that back over there where that belongs. Oh, gotta dump some of that water out. Getting too much junk in there. Too full. Okay, now I got that pot put back in place. I'm going to refill this one up. Regular tap water. And now I'm going to shush it around. <sighs> Again, if you can come up with a better word than shushing, I dare you. I dare you. Come up with a better word than shushing. And also, tell me how to spell shushing. Is it S-H-U-S-H-I-N-G? Or is it S-H-O-O-I-N-G? Or do you have a different spelling? I, come and take it. Hereby proclaim the word shushing. Hear ye, hear ye, 
come and take it, has proclaimed the word shushing. Okay, as you can see, it is coming out perfectly clean. Try to get as much of that water out as you can. That's plain old tap water. It's disgusting. If you ever taste tap water, it is disgusting. But it's sufficient for rinsing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak it for several hours. This is distilled water I'm pouring in here. You pour in some distilled water, enough to cover the rice. Like that much right there. Okay. Just move the rice out in there so the water is over the top of the rice. Now you can see I got water in there. I'm not using tap water to soak it. I'm using distilled water. You can use filtered water if you'd like but don't use tap water to soak it. All the junk that's in tap water, the sodium fluoride and everything else, will go right into the, into the uh, sodium fluoride, the bleach, etc. will go into the rice. So don't do that. Where's the lid for this thing? Here we go. Now I'm gonna put a lid on it. I'm not cooking it, even though it's on the oven. I'm just letting it sit there. It has to sit like that for a minimum of four hours. Okay, four hours or more. And then later today, when I go to cook it, I will show you how I cook it in the pots that I use to cook it in and the steaming thing that I use to cook it in. Sticky rice does not get cooked in boiling water. Sticky rice gets steamed. I've tried it different ways. It's not, it doesn't come out good if you try to make sticky rice like regular boiled rice. Okay, so anyway, uh, Later today, I will put out part two of this video, and I'll show you how to cook it. Okay? Thank you. Uh, hit like. Maybe you'll hit uh, share this with your friends, and uh, maybe you'll um, subscribe. Thank you.